cheating harms all players involved. But the players that are harmed the most by cheating are Linux or Steam Deck gamers because they start to lose access to their favorite games. While the greater Steam Deck community may scoff at the thought of playing a multiplayer game, the fact of the matter is these games are popular for a reason, and the inability to play them on Steam Deck is a tragedy. Apex Legends is an online multiplayer battle royale that was playable on Steam Deck for basically the entire lifespan of the Steam Deck, at least until this past Halloween. On October the 31st, they put out a statement in regards to Linux and cheating, and this is what they had to say. To eliminate this cheat vector, we have made the decision to prevent access to the game for Linux users. This means that Apex Legends will be unplayable immediately for those running this operating system. Playing on handhelds such as the Steam Deck is still possible if the user opts to install Windows. To clarify, this will not impact users who play Apex via Steam on Windows or other supported platforms. Respawn Entertainment has delivered us the kiss of death. No more Apex on Steam Deck. No more Apex on Linux in general. Apex Legends was one of the few competitive online games that you could still play on Steam Deck, and now it's not. As you might have guessed, their decision came from the fact that Linux has a disproportionately large amount of cheaters, despite being a relatively small population compared to, say, Windows gamers. They've even cited a specific type of cheat, that there are also cases in which cheats for the Windows OS get emulated as if it's on Linux in order to increase the difficulty of detection and prevention. That is pretty messed up. It is Respawn's game and ultimately they're allowed to make the decision, but it is unfortunate that Steam Deck gamers and Linux gamers get punished for the actions of the few. At first glance it sounds completely unbelievable, but so many online developers have cited the fact that, well, their games are just more vulnerable when played on Linux. The problem now is that cheaters get to go back to Windows and then they just continue to cheat, whereas Linux gamers? Well, they're gonna have to keep a Windows partition, or just not play Apex anymore. Some smug Steam Deck owners may scoff at the idea of playing a competitive online game on Steam Deck. And sometimes they give such sage wisdom like, don't play your favorite game on Steam Deck. But I believe in getting all games working on Steam Deck, even if it's games that I don't particularly like. You may not like Apex Legends, but doesn't it piss you off a little bit to see that the Nintendo Switch can play Apex Legends just fine? whereas they literally just blocked us Steam Deck users out? Doesn't that piss you off a little bit? Doesn't it piss you off that cheaters are ruining the Steam Deck? Like it's one thing if you mod like, I don't know, Fallout New Vegas or something on your Steam Deck, but it's another thing to cheat from your Steam Deck. I've often dubbed this as the Steam Deck's worst problem because this isn't something that can be fixed with a Steam Deck 2 or more storage. All of your favorite games with anti-cheat that don't work on Steam Deck won't work on Steam Deck 2 either. The ballpark is entirely in the developer's court. And installing Windows on your Steam Deck isn't fixing it, it's more like transforming it into a far worse device. Now I feel like this has to be said otherwise some people will misconstrue my point. Modding a single player game is nothing like cheating in an online game. You can mod your single player game however you want. You want to make your character overpowered and just power through the entire game, then sure, be my guest. But when you go online and start cheating, you ruin the game for everyone else, and yourself too, because you're not really overcoming adversity. And the worst part is that some people that cheat, they brag about that. Like, you know, you would never see someone in sports brag about taking a bunch of roids. Like, no, that would never happen. It's all just very frustrating because towards the beginning, I always thought that maybe they just wanted an excuse to not support Linux. But this made developers closing Linux gamers off due to cheating from Linux? They can't all be wrong. The worst part is that they're still cheating in Windows. There's far less of it proportionally compared to the Linux population, but still. I feel so defeated. This is a game that was playable from day one of the Steam Deck's release. And now all of a sudden, it's not playable anymore. I understand and I sympathize with the developers. If you let cheaters run rampant, then yes, they will threaten the livelihood of the game and ultimately destroy it. Look at TF2. TF2 is barely playable because it's full of bots. But seeing a game that used to work on Steam Deck very well no longer work due to circumstances outside of your control is a terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling that legitimate Steam Deck and Linux players will never play Apex Legends on their operating system again. They'll have to play on Windows, 
And the worst part is, despite the fact that the anti-cheat supposedly works better on Windows, there's still Windows cheating at the end of the day. And the worst part about it is that cheating has gone completely external. Cheating is no longer bound to the confines of your software, your operating system. Heck, it's not even bound to the confines of your own computer. And the worst part, with the introduction of AI, the cheating arms race has gotten even worse. Traditionally speaking, cheating has always relied on manipulating game data to give you information that you wouldn't be able to see with your eyes. Or better yet, have a machine completely control the aiming for you. But now, with AI, you can program an AI algorithm to play games realistically looking. You can convincingly make it look like a pro player. And the anti-cheat would be none the wiser because this stuff is running on a separate computer. Cheating has always been in the realm of FPSs because FPSs at the end of the day are point and click and you can manipulate a machine to do that. But now I'm starting to see more and more cheating in fighting games. For the most part, the FGC community is honorable. They value things like hard execution, difficult gameplay, and all of that good stuff. And to see Street Fighter VI fall victim to cheating is just absolutely terrible. And if you remember from earlier this year, Grand Theft Auto V used to be a game that was playable on Steam Deck. Both the single player and GTA Online were playable on Steam Deck. They ended up adding Battleye, which Battleye does support Steam Deck, but they blocked Steam Deck, meaning you can no longer play GTA Online on your Steam Deck, or just your general Linux gaming desktop for that matter. I don't know man, I just feel so defeated. Like what can we do as players to help remedy the situation? Are we just at the mercy of this cat and mouse game being played by both the developers and the cheaters? Is there a light at the end of this tunnel or are multiplayer games just screwed forever, especially in this digital age? Well thankfully there are some bright spots, let's talk about them. In case you haven't heard, last year Bungie, developers of Destiny 2, sued many many cheat developers and they seem to have won in court. Now typically I'm not super big on flexing legal muscle like this, but what I will say is that they deserve it. The cheat makers, they deserve it. They deserve the millions of dollars of loss. Activision also followed suit as well the next year, and to be honest, I really wouldn't mind these developers suing these cheat makers into oblivion. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of companies flexing their legal muscle, but in this case, this is a David vs Goliath situation where the Goliath is the good guy. And if these cheat makers lose their livelihood, I really don't feel a shred of sympathy whatsoever. And there's also something called Waldo AI, which is in progress. Essentially, it's a sort of anti-cheat powered by AI. The idea is that it's supposed to detect anomalous behavior. You know, behavior synonymous with cheating because let's be frank, cheaters play in a very different way than regular people do. A pretty big content creator, basically homeless, covered the idea of, well, this AI powered anti-cheat, Waldo AI, or Waldo Vision, more accurately. I haven't heard about this being implemented into any multiplayer game as of the making of this video. But the promise of AI powered anti cheats is promising, but it really has to determine the difference between a top level pro player and someone that's actually cheating. So yes, cheating sucks. Ever play a game that's known for being a cheater's haven? Literally every interaction you have with every player will be called into question. Like is that player actually better than me or did they cheat? And because of the game's reputation for being a cheater's haven, there's like a 50-50 chance that he actually is cheating and isn't just better than you. Sorry this seems like such a ranty video, but I just had to rant about something I really really hated. Cheaters. Not to mention, you know, cheaters are starting to affect Steam Deck owners. You know, some people actually did play Apex Legends on the Steam Deck and now they can't anymore. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.